So uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well rising weekly career, um, relationship and love reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And uh, should you guys want to get in touch with me for a private reading, or if you are interested in your business and career tarot reading for this very same week, you can check the description down below of this video and there you're gonna find both links uh, one to my website where you can schedule a reading or a personal reading with me or uh, one to uh, the other video of the week for Pisces. So that being said let's jump into uh, the spread here now the first card which stands as a topic of your love and relationship week that is going to be the six of pentacles Followed by the next one here, which stands for the energies that are supporting the topic and the situation. That will be the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Followed by the third card, which is the challenges that you need to stand against and hopefully overcome throughout the week. Uh, we have the Five of Swords and then it is the gifts and the blessings of the week that is going to be regarding love and relationship. That is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, after that, we do have how the other sees you, how your partner sees you, how your friends and family sees you, how the person of interest that you do have sees you. That is going to be the magician card, followed by the other one, which is what you can do in order to uh, help your long term love and relationship goal. And that will be the Hierophant. Then it is what is going to hurt your long term and relationship goal. That will be the um, world card. And uh, the last one, which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you, Pisces, regarding love and relationship, that will be the six of wands. So, uh, well, that will be the week where. Uh, you and either your partner or either your um, person of interest, they, you, you either make it or break it. So let's go down the cards one by one and see how this whole thing is going to play out and what you can do in order to, at the end of the day, get the upper hand or have it the way you want it. So uh, the topic is the Six of Pentacles and the energy, it is the Queen of Pentacles. So those two cards, as energy feeds the topic, they strongly speak about maybe final attempts, disagreements or problems that issues in generally that you may have or that you both have into the relationship or into the love interest are to be resolved. Uh, that is because something may happen throughout the week as a circumstance or as a prerequisite you say that uh, is going to make you think or it's going to make you aware i don't know how to say it is going to make you think or see that said uh, that there is still uh, what to be taken from the current enterprise what i mean a person of interest that you are chasing or that they are chasing you or a current relationship marriage and so on and so forth so what i am trying to say here pisces is that even if you have definitively decided upon zero now that you are going to move on that you're going to split or uh, that uh, you know that you're going to do something drastic, radical, etc., etc., in regards to your relationship, you may find yourself having a, a change of heart throughout this week. That is for a reason, once again, being it is that you would want to be a hundred percent sure that is the only possible movement from now on, that there is nothing else that you can do now. However, regardless of the person that you are going to try to resolve problems with, it is a person of interest or a husband or a wife or a, a current partner in relationship, if it is not um, if it is not faced by two of you and only one is trying to pull the whole weight, is not what it's not gonna work out. And this is why I said that it is either make it or break it. You do your final attempt, all right? I mean, try to make it work, but if you see that you are only one who is trying, well then, it's, 
it's pretty much over and uh, it's kind of advisable from these cards to uh, to move on. The very least you already will know that there is nothing more you can get from it. So uh, the other card it is the challenges uh, that you need to stand against and that is highly titled or uh, tied excuse me to the topic and the energies. This card points that you need to understand and recognize the limits that this whole enterprise can go to. Okay, so you try it out, you try to vitalize it, to revive the enterprise, whatever, it doesn't work out and you need to understand the limit. That is the limit and that limit cannot be exceeded. Otherwise, you are risking humiliations, you are risking to be humiliated, that is. You are risking to be um, dominated as well and you are risking above everything else your trust to be betrayed so that being said once again uh, it's it's a rather rough week for you love and relationship wise uh because well i don't know how to say it really pisces it is like uh that you may find yourself pushing way too hard for uh, trying to achieve the unachievable here and that's why it will be very important to understand how far you can you can go to um to find out how far you can go i don't know to analyze how far you can go uh with all that um so you you you, you try to fix a certain issue with your girlfriend let's say and it's not working out it's not working out and it is only you that it is trying to fix it well there is no point trying to fix it then because it needs to be fixed by both of you otherwise it's it's just it's not gonna happen so the gifts and the blessings it is the ten of pentacles and this is in that particular case this is a double-edged sword uh, what i mean is that these this is a two different gifts and blessings that you are gonna have uh, and you can have either one of them or the other. And one of the gift and the blessing, it is that your trust is going to be uh, fulfilled. Okay, so you're going to find out uh, that or you're going to be gifted with now stable and solid relationship that is to be growing from now on. Or the other gift that you are going to have, if it is not the relationship, is going to be the gift of independence. Meaning that even if you kind of suffer for a little while that, you know, you couldn't make it, but you had to break it with the current person of interest or, you know, with the current relationship, you're not going to suffer for long because for one, you're going to enjoy the free life that you're going to have. And as well with the Ten of Pentacles, maybe I'm saying maybe there will be a chance for you to... Um, Make a reconciliation, but not with the current person, with someone else of your exes, okay? So the other one, it is uh, how other people see you, how uh, your person of interest sees you. Just one second to see if it is uh, recording, guys. Yeah, it is. It's my watch. Okay. Uh, so this is how the other people sees you, how your person of interest sees you. Uh, how you know your partner husband wife and that is the magician and uh, it's it's kind of a very strong impression because they are seeing you uh, first of all determined to try everything out to make it work in general and uh, therefore at the end of the day if it doesn't work out i think that they will quickly understand that it is all their fault and they they have nothing to blame for it but themselves Additionally, however, to that, they are seeing you as a unique individual. What I am trying to say is that they are finally understanding that they cannot change you in any way they want. Okay, so you do have your personality and they have to live with that personality if, if they want to be with you in general. And if they don't want to be with you, well, or if they don't want to live with that personality, it is when you are going to see that they don't put any kind of efforts to resolve the <clears throat> the disagreements or the issues that you may have with them throughout this week. So what can help your long-term goal here? That is going to be the Hierophant and uh, simply says that you need to know your place. And uh, wh what I mean here, it is that you can't... Um, 
Well, it's difficult to explain it. It's very difficult reading for, for Pisces. Well, I'll start from another, from another angle here. So the Hierophant uh, points that you have to talk about your concerns with your person of interest or with your partner in general. And that's uh, the, the problems that you may have, they do have solution, the disagreements I mean, or you know, the plights, whatever, they do have solution and that solution, it's, uh, it's in the existing framework. Uh, but above everything else, you have to try to find out, do you trust that person now? Or you are trying desperately to find the reason why to trust them. Now, if it is, if it is the second thing that you are trying desperately to, fire, to find the reason to trust them, it's all lost. And it's time for you to move on into something more stable than this. But if you still trust that person, then definitely through a... Um, open conversations, deeply meaningful conversations in between you two for the things of life, for the things of the relationship and for the root, the core of the issue, uh, a common ground can be reached. The uh, Hierophant, however, in a, um, what can help your long-term go in regards, in regards to love and relationship, it is that you have to take it the traditional way. It is always the traditional way, okay? You, can't, you, you should not experiment at that point, relationship-wise or a love-wise also. But trust, I cannot stress you enough, it's all about trust. We do have an abundance here of earth cards and in relationship when you do have so much um, infusion of the earth elements into your reading it's always about trust if you don't trust that person then it's time for you to sever it so the other one that is another earthly card guys it is what can hurt your long-term goal and uh, relationship wise and that is the world card in this case it is stop fighting being resigned accepting that it is what it is and you are going to endure through it whatever it takes giving you on a trivial example where one finds himself into an abusive relationship and they are convincing themselves that it is their fault that it is a uh, abusive relationship and it is what they wanted or kind of like it is because of them that they are finding themselves at that point and they are obliged to endure it till the end of time. So pretty much uh, it is what can hurt your long-term goal. It is believing or kind of like adopting the standpoint that you have reached the end of the line, right? And that you can't improve anymore you can't improve any longer important thing with the world card it is that you always need to uh, try to seek new perspectives or new beginnings let's say but these beginnings could reside into the current relationship or a person of interest that you do have so in other words it is time to bring it to the next level and if that's impossible then the next level can be brought to bear but not with the current person of interest or the current partner that you do have and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering to you and that is the six of uh, wands guidance so you need to demand recognition i mean with this card i don't think that um, you are appropriately assessing your uh, your presence or your behavior. What I mean with this card uh, is that you are more liked than you think so, you are more enthralling than you think so. And if this current person of interest or a partner does not give you the appropriate recognition and the rewards and what you deserve in general, someone else will. So uh, that's why it's important to identify this week can you make it or should you have to break it? So that being said, Pisces, uh, this was your weekly uh, tarot love and uh, relationship reading for December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want a uh, personal reading with me, you can get in touch with me by checking the description down below. There you're going to find my website, the link to my website. And also, uh, you're going to find a link in the description as well for your business and career tarot reading. 
Uh, that being said, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.